The Countess of Wessex has become a popular member of the royal family in recent months. Sophie and her husband Prince Edward have been tasked with filling part of the void left by Harry and Meghan's departure from their senior royal duties and the death of Prince Philip. The couple conducted a number of interviews and made many public appearances this year while Edward was one of the first family members to address the public upon the Duke of Edinburgh's passing. Sophie is reportedly a favourite of the Queen due to her commitment to the firm, with the pair having been spotted walking and riding together through the grounds of Windsor Park. Her marriage with Edward, the monarch's youngest son, and the couple's tight-knit family, is also considered important in restoring the royal family's reputation at a time of relative upheaval. Despite having emerged as a reliable source of support for Her Royal Highness in recent times, Sophie recounted how she would never forget the look the monarch gave her after she delayed proceedings at a state banquet to find her seat. The 2013 ITV documentary Our Queen, which features interviews with a number of senior royal family members and celebrities alike, chronicles the major events that have marked the Queen's reign in celebration of her Diamond Jubilee. While discussing state banquets Sophie admitted, the moment you go into a ballroom at Buckingham Palace it's terrifying. You see a wall of people and you then think, oh help, I've got to find my chair. Because I'm normally walking in with somebody who's never visited before, they don't know what they meant to be doing and I have to say on more than one occasion I've managed to sit in the wrong seat. The Countess also laughed about an instance when she was struggling to locate her chair as the Sovereign was readying to begin a speech. A disgruntled Queen spotted Sophie still negotiating seating arrangements. Sophie said, but I shan't forget the look that I got when I couldn't find my chair and, the Queen, was looking to do her speech. I decided I might study my notes a little more carefully next time. Despite the Queen's stern, look, to her daughter-in-law at the banquet, the pair's close bond has been noted by critics and royal aides. One royal aide told the Daily Mail in 2018, she talks to Sophie in the way she used to talk to Princess Margaret. Sophie has filled a terrible gap in the Queen's life that was left when her sister and the Queen Mother died in 2002. Another aide said, she is like another daughter to Her Majesty, they are that close. Sophie and Edward met in 1987 while Sophie was working in PR and Prince Edward was dating her friend. Six years later, in 1993, the pair crossed paths once more and this time struck up a romance. The couple announced their engagement in January 1999 and married at Windsor Castle in June the same year. The Earl and Countess of Wessex have two royal children, Lady Louise Windsor who is 17, and Jame, Viscount Severn who is 13. Related articles Richard Osmond's love for Harry and Meghan and sly dig at royals Diana was in, tears, when Charles sent William to boarding school Diana's heartbreaking admission before engagement laid bare.